okay actual time and approximate time uh, actual time is the exact or actual number of days in any given month while approximate time is all months within a year have 30 days so the uh, a simple interest and formula then is i is equals to p times r times time <coughs> okay where yung time natin doon is always year yung unit natin okay pero paano naman kapag yung given is days or yung actual date so doon natin gagamitin tong actual time at saka approximate time sa actual time is kung ano yung nasa kalendaryo ayun yung gagamitin natin for example yan January merong 31 days sa so February 28 or 29 depende kung leap year March is 31, April is, th uh, is 30, May is 31, and June is 30, and then hanggang December. Okay? Ngayon. Uh, pag leap year, 29 days yung gagamitin natin sa actual time. Kapag hindi leap year, 28. Paano natin malalaman kung leap year siya? Kapag yung given year is divisible sa 4, leap year yun. For example, 2016. So, divide natin siya sa 4. Divisible siya sa 4. So, 29 days yung gagamitin natin. Kung hindi naman siya divisible sa 4, 28 yung gagamitin natin. Kapag approximate time naman, lahat to 30 days lang. So, January 30 days. Sa February, 30 days pa rin. Ulitin ko, 30 days pa rin siya. March is 30. April is 30 pa rin. Then, hanggang December, tig to 30 days lang sila. Okay? So, sa pa. Kung wala naman kayong uh, calendar na dala lagi, pwede nyo gamitin yung fist. Okay? So, or yung kamay natin. So, lahat ng knuckle bumps or yung buto dito sa kamay natin, uh, 31 days yung bilang. Lahat naman ng knuckle gaps is 30 days or yung pagitan. Okay? So, Yan, January, ito yung uh, time magsisimula. So, January, February, March, April, May, then so so siya. Then, August, September, hanggang December. So, itong mga red or may buto, 31 days bilang natin. Ito, 30 days. Yan. So, pero, syempre, maliban lang sa February. Kasi, pwedeng 28 or pwedeng 29. Example. Ah... Uh, Find the actual and approximate time from March 23 to October 16. Okay? So, uh, October 16, 2020. So, sa actual time, okay, ang uh, gagamitin natin is yung kung ano sa kalendaryo. So, sa March is meron tayong 31 days. April is 30. May is 31. June is 30. July 31, August is 31 pa rin. September is 30. Then, sa October is dapat 31. Pero, take note, uh, sa example natin, baka ito kayo, ang nakalagay doon is hanggang October 16 lang. So, 16 lang dapat to. Sa approximate naman, sabi ko nga, lahat ng months is 30 days. So, 30 days, 30, 30, 30, ayan, hanggang October 30, syempre hindi ang lalagay lang natin is 16 kasi hanggang 16 lang naman so ayan sya ngayon, i-add lang natin lahat yan para makuha yung total, pero again, take note natin sa March, nagsimula tayo March 23 so imbis na 31 days yan bawasan natin ng 23 so magiging 8 days lang so, 8 days lang dapat tayo dyan. Kasi hindi naman tayo sa March 1 nagsimula eh. So, hindi kumpletong 31 days yun. Okay? So, 8 days lang. Dito, ganun din. Uh, 30 naman. Minus natin yung 23. So, 7. So, dapat to 7 days lang. Then, add natin sa lahat. Uh, Unahin natin add itong approximate kasi madali lang. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 So, 180 days Plus 16 So, 180 plus 16 Is 196 Plus natin yung 7 Or add natin yung 7 So, magiging uh, 203 days 
หายสิ่งนี้เช่เนี่ย actual days เวลาเงินเดือนดีนั่นเอง so ดีตัวอังนาอีบาลังนั่นเอง is ไอ้ตรง31 days อาจจะอยู่8 so ดักดักกันนั่นเองนั่นเองตรง203 so plus one เพราะเสร็จเอ็มบิสนั่น30 31ดีบ้าง so one two three and then may plus one tayo dito kasi 7 to ito naging 8, so 4 so 203 plus 4 dagdagan lang natin sya ng 4 so 207 days so ito na yung actual time natin then ito naman yung sa approximate time isa pa find the actual and approximate time from February 2 to August 3 2020 so, sa actual days, so, dito, take note kanina, di ba? Paano natin malalaman kung deep year ba siya or hindi? Is yung year. So, ang year natin dito is 2020. Okay? So, ang 20 is divisible siya sa 4. Or ang 2020 is divisible sa 4. Ibig sabihin, kapag dinivide nyo siya, dapat walang decimal. Okay, so dapat dito 29 days yung gagamitin natin. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, so uh, 29 days minus natin yung 2, syempre. And so 29 minus 2 is 27. So dito meron tayong, oh sorry, palitan natin yung kulay. Ayan. So, dito, meron tayong 27 days. Okay? So, sa March is meron tayong 31. Sa April is 30. Sa May is 31. June is 30. July is 31. At ang August is 3. Dito, uh, 30 days. Again, hindi importante dito kung uh, leap year ba siya o hindi. Basta, 30 days yung bilang natin. So, since uh, 30 days yung bilang natin dito. Ah, sorry. Hindi pala kita. So, since 30 days yung bilang natin sa kanya. So, 30 minus yung 2. So, meron tayo 28 days. Okay. So, ito is 28. Ito, take to 30 na. 30, yan. 30, 30. Then, 3. Okay. So, add lang natin sila lahat. So, add muna natin to. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay. So, 150. Plus 28. Okay. So, 178. Plus 3 is 181. So, 181 days. Okay. So, dito naman. So, add natin siya. Uh, gamitan natin ng calculator para sigurado tayo baka kamali ako eh. So, yan siya. So, ito natin. So, 31. Oh, sorry. Uh, 27 plus 31 plus 30. Okay, plus 31 ole plus 30, plus 31, plus 3. Meron tayong 183 days. Okay, so dito, uh, lagay natin is 183 days. Then, ito na actual days natin. Ito naman yung approximate, uh, uh, approximate time. Or approximate days. Okay. Isa pa. Next is ordinary interest at saka exact interest. Okay. Dito sa ordinary interest at saka exact interest, ang tatandaan nyo lang dito is yung time lang yung may iba. Okay. At saka, yung ordinary interest, 360 siya sa isang taon. Ang exact interest naman is 365 
sa isang taon. Okay? Napapansin ninyo, ang uh, formula natin is sa simple interest pa rin. Diba? P times R times T. Ayan siya. Okay? Ang, uh, ito lang yung may iba, yung time natin. Kasi kapag sinabi yung ordinary interest yung hinahanap, i-convert natin siya sa isang taon. Pero, sa isang taon, meron lang 360 days. Dito naman, is sa isang taon, merong 365 days. Ito lang yung part na tatandaan natin. Ulitin ko. Ordinary interest, sa isang taon, merong 360 days. Exact interest, sa isang taon, merong 365 days. Example. Uh, find the exact and ordinary interest on 15,390 days at 7 uh, and 3 fifth percent simple interest. Okay? So, una muna, hanapin natin yung P, which is yung principal amount. Siya yung 15,300. Okay? Time natin is 90 days. And then, rate natin is 7 and 3 fifth percent. So, ang nawawala is yung I. I yung hinahanap natin. So, formula natin is I is equals to P times R times T. Pero remember, meron tayong exact at saka ordinary interest. Diba? Kapag ordinary interest, hindi natin. So, kapag ordinary, okay, yung time natin is days over 360. Kapag exact, okay, ang, ang time natin is days over 365. Ulitin ko, sa time lang to. Ito yan. Okay. So, compute natin siya. So, P is 15,300. Okay. Times 7 and 3 fifth. So, kung nahihirapan tayo dyan, pwede nyo siyang gawin ganito. Uh, yung 3 fifth muna, 3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6. And then, add lang natin yung 7, kaya 7.6. Okay? So, ang katumbas niya sa decimal is 7.6%. Pero, uh, kukonvert natin sa decimal, so divide natin sa 100. So, 0 0.076. Okay? So, balik tayo dito. So, multiply natin sa 0 0.076. And then, yung time. Okay? Pag sa time, syempre, sabi doon 90 days. So, 90 sa taas. And then, unahin natin ordinary. So, ordinary interest. So, meron tayo 360. So, compute natin siya. Click tayo sa calculator natin. So, nine natin yung time. So, 90 divided by 360 is 0 0.25. Multiply natin siya dun sa rate, which is 0 0.076. Okay. So, 0 0.019. And then, multiply natin uli dito sa 15,300. So, magiging 290.7. So, dito, meron tayong 290.7. So, ito yung sagot natin. Ito yung sa ordinary interest. Okay? Kapag exact naman, sa exact is 15,300. Multiply natin sa 0 0.076. Then, 90 pa din. Pero, over 365. Okay. So, ayun naman siya. So, balik tayo ulit. So, 90 days divide natin sa 365. Ayan siya. Uh, since gagamit tayo ng calculator, hindi na tayo mag-round off. Uh, gamitin natin lagi yung exact amount. Okay. Mag-round off lang tayo kapag sa final answer. Okay. 
So, ayan siya. So, multiply natin siya sa 0 0.076. Okay? So, magiging ganyan sagot. And then, multiply natin siya ulit sa 15,300. So, ayan na siya. Again, ito na yung final answer natin. So, take note, dito tayo mag-round off. So, round off natin sa 2 decimal places. So, 286.72. Okay? So, lagay natin dito. Uh, 286.72. Ayan siya ulit. Diba? 286.717. Round off natin sa 2 decimal uh, places. So, 0.72. Then, ito naman yung sa exact interest. Okay? Yan lang siya. Isa pa. Find the ordinary interest and exact interest on 10,600 for 105 days at 8.23%. Simple interest. So, P is equals to 10,300 time is 105 rate is 8.23 or pwede natin lagay na 0 0.0823 so unahin natin uh, sagutan yung ordinary so ordinary so 10,600 uh, multiply natin sa rate which is 0 0.0823 then time is 105 over 360. Ulitin ko, ordinary interest to. Okay, so gamit tayo ulit ng calculator. So 105 divided by 360. Ito yung sa time, inuna ko sa time. Then multiply natin sa 0 0.0823. Ayan siya. Again, hindi ko na siya ni-round off. Okay, kasi hindi nyo naman siya kailang isulat lahat yan. Sa calculator naman. Then, multiply natin ulit 10,600. Ayan na siya. Then, dito tayo mag-round off. So, 254.44. Cut natin siya or round off natin sa 2 decimal places. So, 254. Ayan. Point 44. So, ito yung ordinary. Sa so, exact. Okay. So, 10,600, same pa rin, 0 0.0823 divided by sa so 105 over 365 naman. So, balik tayo dito. So, 105, divide natin sa 365, ayan siya. Again, di ko na siya round off para exact yung amount natin kasi since business yung pinag-uusapan, dapat laging exact yung amount. Uh, multiply natin sa 0 0.0823 Ayan And then multiply natin ulit sa 10,600 Ayan siya So round off natin sa 2 decimal places So 250.95 Since 8 yung kasunod magiging 96 So 250.96 So dito tayo nag round off sa so final answer Ito na yung sagot natin sa exact Ah, uh, like, yeah. Okay. So, yun lang siya.